Hey YouTube, uh, this is our video of our top five weapons in Call of Duty World at War. Um, each of us, me and Evan, are going to do our own top five, and what we'd like to do is compare them in the comment section, whatever, do a video response, whatever you, whatever floats your boat. Um, just make, just do something, compare them, which one's better. You can do your own if you want to. Okay, um, my her, my fifth one, it's the M1 Grand with the sniper scope. I like it because you get more bullets in a clip, you can carry a, around a lot more ammo, so you, you tend to run out of ammo less, um, and it has pretty much the same damage as a bolt action rifle would with a scope on it. And, yeah. Uh, my fourth one is the FG-42 with the telescopic sight. I like it because it has a quick fire rate and it's pretty accurate even though uh, the, the telescopic sight reduces it. I find it's still accurate enough. My third one is the Type 99 with the bayonet. I think it's a really good weapon overall. Good accuracy, good pow great power, really high fire rate, great range, great overall. Second one is STG with the telescopic sight. It has really good accuracy, accuracy, despite the fact that the, the telescopic set reduces the accuracy. You know, it does like the same thing. Even if you put the um, aperture set on it, you might not be able. You can see even further, and you just got to put your little cursor a little to the left or the right. Not that big a deal. It's something you got to get used to. And I think it has really good power too. Like three bullets and they're dead. Uh, and my number one is the Type 100 with the box magazine. I like this because it's great for capture the flag. Like, that's what I use to level up really fast. I just started using it, I think, my second or third prestige, and I leveled up really fast. Uh, now it's time for it again. This is my top five favorite weapons for Call of Duty World at War. So my number five is the double wheel shotgun with the grip. Um, really, it's it's just it gets good range for shotgun and uh, really high power. So there's no need to put stopping power. Just put sleight of hand. You're pretty deadly. From a number four, we have the car with the scope. Very accurate. Very powerful. Nothing more to say about a bolt action. Um, for number three, we got the PPSH uh, with the round drum. Uh, quick fire rate. No need to put double tap. Uh, good accuracy and a lot of bullets when you have the round drum. So then there's number two, the bar with the bipod. There's nothing really good about the bar other than the high power, but I get a lot of kills with it, usually on roundhouse, so better use that weapon. Uh, number one is the gear with the aperture sight. Has good accuracy and good damage. Uh, takes about two bullets to take care of one guy. Alright guys, we just have one more thing we wanted to say before we go. Uh, we wanted to address something that we've seen um, lately on World at War. Uh, a, lot, a lot of people use the MP40, which you know doesn't come as a surprise. But uh, most of people have been using Juggernaut with it and Second Chance. Uh, I know when people are, what, I know what people are thinking when they use it. They think that the MP40 is strong enough to hold them without using stopping power and uh, they think the accuracy is good enough to y use a uh, second chance they wouldn't need steady aim um, but they fail to notice that it points out that they die a lot um, so they're just trying to prolong their death by using these perks and it basically leads us to believe that they suck so and for all you people who use the MP40 blow us yeah